Cedinho is now the most hated player in Spain. All the love and support he got from Atletico Madrid fans for helping them win La Liga. Well, that's now gone. Look at them calling Cedinho a traitor, a fraud, and also Magdinho. But all this happened because Cedinho decided to join Real Madrid, the big rivals of Atletico. To make things worse, when this season Real Madrid faced Atletico, Cedinho of course scored, but that wasn't enough. He shamelessly celebrated after. And oh boy, the hate Cedinho is getting after that is crazy. Wait, 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 guys. What just happened? Cedinho gets jumped in front of local McDonald's? Yo! Cedinho gets attacked by the Atletico fans right after the big game. Do you know what? I think Cedinho can only blame himself for shamelessly celebrating. Oh my god. What's happened to his face? Look at Cedinho, bro. My man's got himself the Harry Potter scar. Yo! Cedinho, no! They literally broke his nose. Cedinho faking injuries again so he can take a break and eat more Big Macs? No, no, no. Even with a broken nose, Cedinho is gonna play. But I think for that, Cedinho's gonna need a face guard. Oh my days, I cannot believe it. we're gonna be wearing this. Guys, the more important question is, what color face guard should we actually wear? Yo, this makes Cedinho look like Flash. I guess we'll just go with the black face guard. But yeah, a broken nose for Cedinho, he's still gonna have to play. One thing's for sure, guys, when Cedinho is heading to the Wanda Metropolitano to play Atletico, I, d I don't think he's gonna be celebrating any goals if he does score because yeah maybe next time they'll break his leg injured or not Cedinho has a job to do bro in the Champions League Madrid are literally second in the group if we don't end up topping this group you guys know how Madrid fans can get they might actually call for Cedinho to be sold and here we are the St. James's Park Cedinho with the mask and everything he's got to help his team win not gonna lie I'm actually wondering if mask Cedinho can score headers maybe the header should be more powerful you know we'll, we'll, we'll try it out if the opportunity arises. Yo, I can't lie. Cedinho is giving me Ossiman vibes with the mask. No way. We actually concede. Good save Courtois. As I said, we lose this game and we're at risk of getting knocked out of the Champions League, boys. Cedinho, I don't care. You've got a broken nose. You've got to score in this game. A few moments later. Oh my god, and we do concede, of course. What a diving header that was. Newcastle take the lead. This is bad. This is really, really bad. Remember, guys, we've joined Real Madrid for this reason, to win the Champions League, and if we get kicked out of the group stages, yo, we're getting sold probably to, like, a, a, a Division 2 Premier League club, like like maybe a championship team or something. So, nah, we, we can't lose this game. Finally, Cedinho showing what's up, but of course I'm worried about his nose, but okay, so far so good. He's able to bring the ball inwards but look at the defense of Newcastle they're playing so well Bruh. and and what is Cedinho doing bro it's like his vision has kind of been nerfed because of like having to wear the mask okay we might be able to do something here go on Cedinho needs a bit of support man there's literally no support finally we see a run coming in come on this could be an opportunity cross going in who are you crossing to, mate? This Real Madrid team looks a bit clueless in the Champions League. Yo, Tonali should be banned. Why is he playing? Oh my days, he might actually get an assist. Ah, we survive. Must win Champions League game, boys, and we can't even get the ball. This is really embarrassing. Yo, first game after being jumped by Atleti fans. I don't blame Cedinho. He's, he's really struggling. The rest of the team needs to step up. Here goes Cedinho, boys. Big chance, finally. Brings it inside. Gets the goal. Let's go with the mask on. Cedinho saves his team. And what is Cedinho? Oh, a backflip. I don't know where did that come from. Okay. He's showing that maybe his nose is broken, but he can still do a backflip. Sometimes I wonder what's going on in the head of Cedinho's. But anyways, he's got a goal in the Champions League. 1-1. But this Real Madrid team needs more. Oh my days. What is this team doing? Thankfully, Courtois bailed us out there. And can we start a counterattack down the wing? Cedinho pace usually down the wings burns opposition and that's done it again Cedinho oh what a finish that is absolutely brilliant from Cedinho and oh look at the celebration he's just showing that with the mask on he can still do it second half in the Champions League boys with a broken nose one man is still dominating and of course his name is Cedinho oh that's five goals in five games in the Champions League boys for Cedinho that's what I call consistency no 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 we can't concede now please no what is this Madrid defense doing not giving up this time Cedinho looking for a pass for Ceballos. Fede Valverde. What a chance this is. 
Trent, you've no. got to score. I can't believe Trent has bottled it from there. That is unreal. And they've cleared it away. I cannot believe we've not won the game there. One last set piece that could decide everything. Cedinho wins the header. It's saved. And I think that's it. No, we could have won the game. You know what? A masked on Cedinho still delivered. Oh my God. We're actually on the verge of getting knocked out of the Champions League. This is unbelievable. That final group stage game is going to mean everything. We need need to win it no matter what. Until then, cedinho has got a couple of La Liga games and we need to just keep the scoring run going. Because look at this, right now we're not even the top scorer in La Liga. It's this guy called Poku. What a name. But yeah, we need to outscore him. Cedinho against Girona has found a bit of space. Drives in so well. What a finish from Cedinho. That is outrageous. Cedinho attacking down the wings, looking to bring it inside. Keeps doing it. Oh, that is wonderful. What a run from Cedinho. Not much time left in this one as Cedinho is taking the ball down the wing. Tough angle, but he puts it in. 85th minute. You cannot stop this man from scoring. Goal after goal. Break his nose, but he will break you on the pitch. Look at that, boys. All those goals mean Cedinho has won yet another La Liga Player of the Month award. And he's now back to being the top scorer in La Liga, but Marcus Rash but he's just behind him now. Wow. The main focus now is just qualifying for the Champions League round of 16. We've kind of messed up the group completely. If we don't win our last game, it's over in the Champions League for Cedinho. Oh, Cedinho, he just fell down, but he got back up. Looks for his teammate, Bruno. And Bruno Fernandes gets the goal. Cedinho with an assist right there. 1-0 in a must-win Champions League game. Oh, wait. The keeper's not coming forward and Cedinho has made it through. Cedinho, can he square this one? No, he messed up. Maybe he should have just gone for goal. I'll be honest, guys. We cannot be happy with the 1-0 scoreline. Last Champions League game, Cedinho scored twice and, and they still, of course, lost. This time, we need at least three goals against Kiev. Oh, Cedinho. And there's another one in the Champions League. League. That's the two goals we need. We would still need, I think, another goal to be saved. No, 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 no. We can see. This is why I told you we need three goals to be just perfectly safe. We need to score another one. Guys, Real Madrid are actually feeling the pressure right now. 85th minute, we've not scored the third goal. In fact, they're looking very likely to score. If we can see now, we're literally out of the Champions League. Do you guys understand that? Oh my days, the pressure is really on. But if Cedinho can run through now but he's got no stamina left. He's absolutely exhausted. This is going to be about just surviving till the end. And we've somehow held on to the win. I'm still worried. Is this enough to send us through to the next round? Oh my days, just about. That is crazy. By one point, we've qualified for the round of 16. Simply sensational. Meanwhile, guys, Cedinho has won La Liga game before we make our way to January, before the winter break and everything. So let's get into that with a win. On Cedinho opening up space, and of course, he gets the goal against Cadiz. Cross coming in for Cedinho, and no, no, how is the keeper save that? No, we're heading into the winter break with a draw. I was thinking we were going to take some momentum, but at Real Madrid, it's it's like there are highs with Madrid, and then there are lows as well. It's it's not easy coming to Madrid and just dominating as Courtois. Looks like he's kind of blaming Cedinho. Well, anyways, we're now in January, and to be fair, even with a few draws in La Liga, we're absolutely dominating. The Champions League is where things could get really stressful, because we've in his second and that means we could get some really difficult teams in of course the round of 16 but we'll worry about that later because soon we've got our first opportunity of winning a trophy with Real Madrid but for that we need to play in El Clasico and beat Barcelona in a Clasico also guys we're in the transfer window and I can see some interesting rumors Rodrigo linked to PSG Real Madrid are looking to sign a new defender that would be helpful let's see what happens and yup it's actually done Robin Lenormand has been signed for 56 minutes a new teammate for Cedinho. Why is Cedinho wearing the mask in this photo shoot? I'm wondering when will he recover from, of course, this broken nose. Meanwhile, the UEFA team of the year has been announced and for the first time, Cedinho is in it. It's such a shame he's going to have to wear the mask for this photo shoot. But alongside Mbappe, Bellingham, Pedri, Cedinho is main team of the year. I think it's because of that insane season he had for Atletico than joining Madrid. Can you imagine, boys? I think if this season, Cedinho can win the Champions League 
with Madrid, maybe perform well and win the Euros, we could be seeing Cedinho actually win the Ballon d'Or. But for now, gotta take this first opportunity to win a trophy with Real Madrid. Ooh, also we've got four skill points. I'm thinking, um, let's see where we can use it. Bit of aggression on Cedinho, maybe that could work. Actually, stamina is something that's been letting us down in a lot of games, so maybe we should invest there. Yep, kind of like maxing out Cedinho's stamina. Now it's 94. He should be running around the pitch like a maniac now. There we go, guys. The Clasico is kicked off. Let's knock out Real Madrid and make it to the final of the Spanish Super Cup. I know it's not the most prestigious of trophies, but it's something, and, and getting off to a good start at Madrid, I think, is important. Oh, I see a certain Marcus Rashford on the pitch. He's got a bit of rivalry, you know, with Cedinho. We cannot let... Rashford get the better of us and whoa I can't believe it Marcus Rashford scoring first 10 minutes no he's gonna do his iconic celebration as well we've got to show Marcus Rashford what's up in this game Guys, has Cedinho just suffered a knock? Is a broken nose not enough? It was a rough challenge in him that led to it. This this is not good. I'm really hoping Cedinho can walk this off. Otherwise, it's it's going to be basically us getting knocked out in the Super Cup. Cedinho's not going to beat Balde for pace, so he's going to bring it inside. Looking for Paolo Dybala. Good save from this thing. And I think Cedinho has been able to walk off the injury. That's good news. Barcelona are really unstoppable, man. Courtois making a huge save. What is Cedinho and the rest of the boys doing? We'll get knocked out like this. Courtois, you need to release the ball faster. And, and oh my days, what is this team doing? Half time and it's been a disaster. Juan Cedinho needs some support from his teammate. It comes, he needs nope. to get the ball back. No! Barcelona gonna score again. I can't believe it. Marcus Rashford makes it 2-0. No way. Is he gonna do the celebration? I cannot believe this. Oh my god. Did Casemiro just take out Cedinho? What is he doing at Barcelona? Oh, this is good. This is good. Oh my god. Cedinho is literally trying to take the ball off his own teammate. But he gets through. And I cannot believe the keeper has saved that. This is crazy. Oh, Cedinho has sent Bruno Fernandes through on goal. He's got a score. And that's one goal back. Cedinho gets an assist. But is it enough? We still need one more goal. Now we can't get the ball off them. They're gonna score now. Courtois saves us. But there's not much time left. Oh, they're going to score now. Again, Cordova saves us, but we need to be the ones creating. Rashford goes off, celebrating, and that's pissing me off. Last attack of the game as Cedinho sends this one for Bruno Fernandes. 90th minute. Can he score? Bruno Fernandes, let's go. Another assist for Cedinho. We'll take it, boys. We survive in this game. Come on. I cannot believe how we've done this, boys. We fought our way. That's Real Madrid for you. And is this going to be extra time? Yes, sir. It's extra time indeed as there's going to be changes in everything. Oh, boy. Also, I'm glad we boosted Cedinho's stamina. He's going to be able to do damage here in extra time now. Okay, no. His stamina is still shocking. No. No, 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 Barcelona, no. How? How did we let them through like that? Just shocking. Cedinho, though. Cedinho could square this one for his teammate. And he's done exactly that. Trent scores. Barcelona looked tired. We took advantage. 3-3. Usually, Cedinho gets a hat-trick of goals. This time, it's a hat-trick of assists. This game is actually going to penalties. We're going to have a penalty shootout against Barcelona in a Clasico. The winner goes to the final. The pressure is unbelievable. Oh, my days. It's Bruno Fernandes. He's going to score. I believe in Bruno. There's his classic style. Bruno scores. Come on, Courtois. We just need one save from you nope. and he makes the save let's go Paolo Dybala you're gonna score this one. Oh my god it was close but he did it come on Courtois one more save and oh it was a terrible penalty and Courtois saved it Renier taking this one he scores let's go if we save this next penalty we're going through come on Courtois be the hero one more save that'll be crazy Saniolo scores. Who's scoring the winning penalty? Oh my god, it's Cedinho. I can't believe it. What a chance to be the hero. That is crazy. If I score this penalty, I will be the hero. Unbelievable. Cedinho, I'm putting all my power into it. And I'm scoring. Cedinho has just scored the game-winning penalty. Unbelievable. This is now sending Real Madrid to the final of the Super Cup. What a moment for Cedinho. Bro, this, this is 
a moment etched in Real Madrid history now. If you guys think Cedinho is a mentality monster for scoring that penalty, I need y'all to subscribe to the channel. That's how we'll get this channel to 300k subscribers. Yo, I can't believe it. Atletico Madrid got knocked out so we don't have to face Cedinho's former club in the final against Athletic Bilbao now. Let's get the job done and lift that trophy. We did the hard work against Barca. Let's get the job done in the final. We're starting the final off by being a goal down. We need to do something from this set piece. I've passed it. Got it back. Go on, Cedinho. Goes for the finish shot and let's go. We're back in this one. In a cup final, Cedinho steps up. Free kick from like 40 yards. Is this even possible to score from? But you know what? It's Cedinho. We'll just see what happens. It's a decent one, actually. Not bad. Oh, I see way too much space. It's been released for Cedinho. I think he's kept himself onside. Massive chance. And it's another one in the cup final. Cedinho is absolutely doing a madness and a backflip as well. 2-1 in the Spanish Super Cup final. And I think it's done. I think yep, that's enough. The two goals that Cedinho has scored is enough to get Madrid a title. The game actually ended 4-2, but we'll take it. The hard work in the Barcelona game was enough to get us Cedinho's first trophy at Real Madrid. We can enjoy the trophy celebrations now, but not for long, because the draw for the Champions League round of 16 has been made, and Real Madrid are going to be up against a multiple-time Champions League winning team. If Cedinho wants to win the Champions League, he's going to have to up his game even further. 